Now this is the land of the brave and free where we can sing and shout. But it won't be long if we don't stick together and try to keep the communists out. Now would you like for this country to be run by people who teach that there is no God? No, you would rather you and your loved ones, even your children, would sleep beneath the sod before this horrible fate would come to this land of good old democracy. But it won't happen if we live our religion and pray for those folks across the sea. Who am I to say that the trouble with this nation is that we forget from day to day to thank our Lord for our blessings we receive as we travel life's long highway. But I'm sure that most anyone with good common sense would feel free to say, yes, that's the trouble with this world. We do other things, but we sometimes forget to pray. Now I'm for good old democracy, and I know you folks feel the same. So let's keep our country free and clean from this so-called communist name. Now you may be a Catholic, you may be a Protestant, or maybe you're a Jew, but no matter what you are, if you really live it, I'm sure the Lord will take care of you. So let's keep the same old government for which our loved ones have fought and died. And I'm sure you'll agree we can rest assured when the communists are put aside. And across this land of freedom, so strong, courageous, and true, let's keep that old Liberty Bell ringing in the name of the red, white, and blue. Now, how many people stop to think of just what communism could cause? We couldn't celebrate Thanksgiving or Independence Day, and our children would not have Santa Claus. Think of how long your little town would last if this atomic bomb was dropped. Now, I was in the last war, and I've swore up and down that I would never go again. But for my family and religion, I'm willing to die before I see the communists come in. Thank you.